Hello everyone! You'll have to excuse the fact that I have a bit of a cold and probably don't sound exactly like I would in any other video. Um, but welcome back to my channel. This is the second part of the collaboration with the TaylorMade Soap Company. Um, I'm so excited to share with you all what I thought of the products after trying them out, which ones are my favorite, um, which ones might work for you guys, and just a few tips that I learned along the way. So without further ado, here is my final review of the TaylorMade Soap Company. products to try out. Um, one of the products I actually didn't get to try out, um, my father was supposed to help me, but it just got so busy that he didn't get to. Um, luckily, um, the soap, which is what my dad was supposed to try out, it came in a version for me in Love Spell, and I was able to try that out. Um, as you saw in the little clip that I put up, it uh, it's really beautiful and it was pink and that was actually one of my favorite products. Um, in the last video I told you that I have quite sensitive skin so sometimes soaps are really um, fragrant and they'll make my skin turn really red and blotchy and that soap didn't do any of that um, which I was really um, happy to know because now I know I can use that soap if I want something fragrant. Usually I'm stuck with very very non-smelling ordinary soaps. So that was really fun. Um, I found it really easy to use. Um, it didn't like kind of explode all over my bathtub as sometimes bar soaps do. They'll just sort of make their own pool of soap. And it smelled amazing, felt amazing on my skin, um, didn't leave me with blotches, didn't leave me itchy, nothing of that. So that was great. I would give that one a huge thumbs up. Um, and then along with that was the body whipped body butter in Love Spell as well. I love that Krista gave me them in the same scent because I didn't leave the bath smelling like too much, like I smelled the same because these, this and the soap smelled identical. Um, this body butter was so much thicker than I had originally thought it would be. Um, usually I use body butter from like the body shop um, and theirs is very much like just a moisturizing cream. This was so thick and it took a little bit of time for it to actually soak into my skin but I found that once it did, it was so much more moisturizing and my skin felt so protected. And uh, again, didn't leave me itchy, didn't leave me blotchy, um, just a really nice um, sort of soft smell. And I also would give this one a huge thumbs up. Together, they make such a great pairing because you smell good in the bath and out. But just like Krista did for me, I would suggest you get the same scent so that you're not mixing too much fragrance together. Then I tried this hot lips whipped lip scrub. I tried that after getting out of the bath as well. I figured I would just do it all in one big blow and um, make myself feel great for the day. This stuff is probably the best smelling stuff out of the whole package, but I love Cinnamon Hearts so that could be why and it smells exactly like Cinnamon Hearts. I've used this three times now and I still have barely made a dent in it. Um, I really love it. Sometimes I'll just sit in front of the TV and just rub it on my lips until my lips get all soft and then uh, sort of let it soak in for a minute before washing it off. But it just smells so good and my lips have been so soft. I used this in pairing with the Acai Blueberry Lip Balm. I sort of used this and then put this on afterwards just sort of to um, protect my lips, make sure that they stayed soft. This is also a great pairing. Um, I don't mind the different scents because this scent doesn't really last very long and this one's not very strong so you're not getting a huge mix of scents, which is great. So again, if you're looking for a great pairing, the lip balm and the whipped lip scrub, they go great together, worked fantastic. Um, not really anything bad I can say about that. The only thing is, is um, the scent in this one is quite strong and it did make my lips feel a little tingly sometimes. Um, I know my mom has a lot of issues with lip stuff, so definitely be aware of that, but the lip balm I had no issues with whatsoever. 
the last product that I tried, I actually don't have to show you because it's gone, and it was the Cupcake Bath Bomb. This has to be my all-time favorite product that I got to try. It was so cute in the packaging. If you watched the other video, you know it literally looked like a little cupcake, and it was precious. Um, it smelled absolutely amazing, so calming. I believe it was a blueberry tea, something like that flavor. I can't exactly remember now. Just as I was getting my cold, I decided it might be nice to use the bath bomb um, just to relax a little bit. So I started running the water. I did take a video of me putting the bath bomb in, but I took it the wrong way, so it didn't work for the video. Um, but as you can see in my clip, the water turned such a beautiful color of blue. And when I got in, my skin just felt so like amazing and the scent was so soft and calming. Um, it was just lovely and I went to bed that night feeling soft and smelling good and my sheets actually still smell like the bath bomb, which is kind of funny, but um, it's such a beautiful scent. I definitely recommend that one. The one thing I did notice about the bath bomb is that when I got out of the tub and let it drain, it did leave some blue residue around my tub, which freaked me out at first. Comes off with water, no problem. Um, just a little bit of like the gritty stuff from the bath bomb and it washes away no problem. So don't freak out if that happens in your bathtub like I did for a split second. Um, it It's super washable, doesn't leave any coloring, you just kinda gotta wash it out. Um, along with some of the, I think it was tea leaves or something that was in the bath bomb, sort of stayed in the tub, but like I said, just wash it right down the drain and it was no problem. Um, so that was definitely my favorite, favorite product. Um, I was so just blown away by how beautifully these smelled, um, how soft everything was, and how well everything worked. Um, I really don't have anything bad to say about them. Um, like I said, if you have sensitive skin, just be aware of that and go for stuff with very natural ingredients in it. Um, stay away from the really, like, very fragrant, fragrant stuff, sorry. Um, like this, I would say if you have really sensitive lips, Maybe don't go for the something that smells like cinnamon hearts. Um, but other than that, there's really nothing bad to say. Krista's got a great company. The Taylor Made Soap Company is amazing. Um, there's just so many products to choose from. Like I said, she's got an Etsy page that looks lovely. Um, I actually helped her with it, so I'm a little bit biased. Um, but definitely check it out. Order from her. You will not be disappointed. Um, so that is my final review of the TaylorMade Soap Company. I would give it two great big thumbs up. It was fantastic. And thank you again to Krista for giving me products to try out. Um, it was so much fun. So if you want to check out Krista's links, they will be in the description box below along with all of my links as usual. Check out the blog post. It will be up just after this video um, just to check out or just to get a few more ideas of what Krista has. I will have all the products linked in the blog post just like Tuesday's blog post has. And leave me some comments below. I'm sure Krista will check them out so leave her some love. Other than that, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!